Hey everybody, it's B. Okay, I've done this video before. Okay, here's the thing. I am going to be doing a rant. And I may get worked up, and so you might not understand me. So I'm warning you now, if you don't care about The Sims or gaming or anything like that, and you don't like rants, stop watching now. So, here's the thing. I'm going to be talking to you guys about my issues with the sim simmers, the sim haters. There are simmers. Because Sims 4 is coming out in September, September 2nd of this year. But I've, okay, I've been like monitoring this game like getting all the information about it as I can. So I've been like looking at every post that comes out that's brand new information. And I've and because recently, like two or three weeks ago, EA posted, oh, there's no toddler stage and no swimming pool. That made everybody go completely crazy. I mean, mentally crazy and then they keep harping on it they keep bringing it up they keep just talking about it and saying how awful EA is and how evil they are and how they're going to make those into expansion packs or blah 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 like just ridiculous stuff and I'm like you don't know anything you don't know what they're going to do why they took it out what all that stuff and at the same time it's like it doesn't matter what the new post's about. It has nothing to do with no pools and no toddlers. Every time everybody posts, the first post you see most of the time is like, oh, but they can't put toddlers and pools in? It's like really stupid because it's something that isn't, in my opinion, a big deal. We didn't have, like, it isn't that big a deal because it annoys me playing my toddlers because my toddlers just cry and cry and cry because that's not realistic at all of the st uh, of toddlers in general and so it's like it's just annoying because if you have your sound on and they're just wailing their heads off because they're tired or because whatever I mean yeah they do babies and uh, toddlers in real life do cry but they don't cry every th every single time every hour of the day they do, just don't. But that's beside the point. My issue is that they are like, oh, I play The Sims through. I play. I play The Sims. I play. Been playing The Sims since the beginning, and um, they're taking out everything that we had for a long time. We've only had it from Sims Two up to Sims Three. So it's only been two time, two lengths, and the fact that every extension pack. From Sims 1 to Sims 3 were the exact same extension packs. Exact same. If you look at all of them, you just line them all up, and they come in about the same time period in the Sims 3, or in the Sims in general extension pack. Like, they're, like, match for match. They just have a different title, name, and they're Sims two, not Sims 1, Sims 3, not Sims 2, but they're all the same. There's nothing really new. I mean, yeah, some some stuff's new, but not a lot. A lot of the extension packs are exactly the same. They do a little bit different. They have more options. Oh, wow, but they're exactly the same. I mean, I'm one of those simmers who've been playing The Sims since the beginning, and I've bought every extension pack. Okay, my parents have bought them. But that's beside the point. The point is that I've played them all. I've tried all of them, except maybe Island Paradise, but that's something different. But it's like I'm seeing the big picture that they're that Sims for the Sims Four is trying to give us. Something big, different, new. But no, other Simmers do not want big new. They just want the same. They want a copy 
I'm getting sick of hearing them whine. I might just not read comments anymore, I guess. Maybe that would be a better idea instead of letting it frustrate me. Because I like reading the comments. I like seeing what other people are, are thinking. But most of the comments nowadays that I have seen are all negative, crying about how EA is scamming us, how we're spin where they're just wanting us for our money. Yeah, companies want customers because they want to make money. But they're making money by making a product that we want. So it's a a share a take a give take situation. Because we give them money, they give us something back and forth. And like the whole price issue. Yeah, Sims 4 is going to cost 60 bucks. Just the standard pack, standard game. 60 freaking bucks. But if you look at all the other games that are out there, they've been being sold for 60 or more bucks for a long time. And it's like people, the same people, will go out and buy them, but then complain about the Sims, the Sims 4 being the exact same price, exact same price. Maybe a different quality, quote unquote, quality of graphics, which has nothing to do with anything, or quality made. And it's like I don't see why you are so upset with. EA when you are playing Battlefield 4 or whatever else game it's from EA but you have issues with buying Sims 4 for 60 bucks or you bought Sim City the new Sim City it was 60 bucks when it came out you bought it but you're not willing to buy Sims 4 because it doesn't have things you want it's giving you a whole bunch of new stuff, like emotions and buildings, like the way you can build, you can move a whole building and like move the walls up and down to different heights that you couldn't do before, or move the windows on the wall, which you couldn't do before. But no, no, it has to be all about the things you're not getting and what and nothing about what you actually are getting, the bigger picture they might be making. Instead of maybe getting the exact same expansion packs, maybe they'll do extreme different expansion packs. I mean, the only two ones in The Sims 3 that were different from all the other ones was um, Into the Future and I Am Paradise. The rest of them were almost copies of the rest of the the rest the rest of the games out, the rest of the expansion packs from the other Sims games. So I don't know why people are complaining about not getting the same things, not getting a copy game. I don't want a copy game. I want something new. I want something that makes me think different, makes me want to experience it different, makes me want to just do stuff with my Sims. And people are just ranting on about the stuff that is not the same. I'm going to just repeat myself over and over because that's just what makes me insane about this. Um, I'm trying to calm down now. <laughs> but it's just, it just makes me mad that people don't understand what they're trying to do or see what they're trying to do because I can see it. I can see that they're trying to make it different, trying to make it new, trying to make it... I don't know, but like some people complain that they're making it too easy, quote unquote. How is it easy that your Sims have emotions like you do and they affect other people or other Sims around them with their emotions? I think that would be harder. It's like living in the real world somewhat. And I don't understand why that's a big thing. But that's just me. I, I think it sounds awesome. I, yeah, I'm going to wait and see see what it how it plays and stuff before actually spending 60 bucks but I'm going to get it sooner or later because it just looks so cool I really want it um I'm trying to think of what else I can say before my thing gives out on me again um it just it just a lot of stuff is so new and so different from everything. 
and I like it, and I wish people would see it. I know I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. It's like early morning. It's like 6 o'clock a.m. here. I have not slept, and I've read so many annoying comments that I'm still annoyed. Um, but yeah, um, I'm waiting and seeing what more comes out and what the people who do pre-order and do Let's Plays think and how it like reacts and all the stuff before even looking into it, like actually buying it. And I suggest to anybody else who's thinking about buying The Sims 4, hasn't pre-ordered it or anything, to actually wait until you can see more video gameplay before spending the money if you're still wanting it. But that's just, that's personally just my honest opinion for those people who are kind of interested in it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'm sorry about the rant, but I had to get it off my freaking chest. It was just driving me insane. Um, I'll talk to you all later. And yeah, okay, bye.